we have seen that area of a triangle is given by half into base into height. So for any triangle, I can use this as to find the area of a triangle. Now say this is my triangle with three sides. I want to find the area of this triangle. Now how would I do it? I need to know the base and I need to know the height to find the area of this triangle. Base is fine. I can take any side as the base. Say I take this side which is the bottom most side as the base which is 7. Now if this is my base, what would the height be? How would I be able to find the height? Even if I apply Pythagoras theorem, I know that height is perpendicular. Now here I cannot apply Pythagoras because both the sides are unknown. I know x plus y would give me 7. So it can be 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is also 7. x can be 5, this can be 2. 5 plus 2 is also 7. So how do I find this? Now it is really complicated. So what we do is if I have a triangle with 3 given sides, then I find the area by Heron's formula. Now Heron's formula was basically given by Heron of Alexandria. He has proved this formula also in his book called Metrica. So the formula is that area of a triangle ABC would be given by S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C whole under root. So you would see here that there is a letter called S appearing. What is this S? Let's first see. So this S is actually semi-perimeter. We know perimeter is A plus B plus C. Semi-perimeter means half of the perimeter. So half of perimeter which is A plus B plus C by 2. This is what S is. Now in this formula, all we need is A, B and C. We do not need height here. So this is Heron's formula. We would not go into the proof of Heron's formula because that is slightly complex, needs higher level maths. So for timing, what we'll do is, we'll just remember this formula and try to see where all we can apply this formula. So whenever three sides are given and you need to find the area of that triangle, you would apply Heron's formula. That would be easier. Let's see now. So say that this is an umbrella that is made by stitching eight triangular pieces. Now we know that each piece measures 12, 12 and 6. We know the measurements of one piece. Since all three pieces have the same sides, I can say they are all congruent and hence equal in area. What I need to find is the area of one piece first. So let us find the area. We know that the measurements are 12, 12 and 6. So we call this as A this as B and the third side as C. So we know that area is given by under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So first we need to find S. We know A, B and C. We need to find S. S is a plus B plus C by 2. Semi-perimeter. So perimeter would be 12 plus 12 plus 6. And semi-perimeter divide by 2. So 12 plus 12, 24. Plus 6, 30. 30 by 2 gives me 15. So I get here 15 centimeter as S. So I know S now. Let's try to apply it in the area formula. So now area would be. S is 15, S minus A, which is 15 minus 12, 3. Again, 15 minus B, which is 12, 15 minus 12, 3 again. And 15 minus 6, which is 9. Under root, the entire thing. So I get this. S, this is S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So now I have this. Under root of, I have 3 twice, so I can take 3 outside. Again, I know under root of 9 is 3, so I can take again another 3 outside. What I am left is with under root 15. So area comes out to be 3 into 3, 9, under root 15. So 9, 
root 15 is the area of one triangular piece this centimeter square so this is the area of one triangular piece we have eight such triangular pieces so total area would be eight into nine under root 15 which is eight times a 72 root 15 centimeter square so this is the total area of cloth that is used in this umbrella now if i use heron's formula in an equilateral triangle i get a really nice form let us see so we know s is a plus b plus c by 2 so for an equilateral triangle a is a b and c all are the same so i can say that s here would be a plus a plus a by 2 so i get s as 3a by 2 so s is 3a by 2 now area is given by under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c s is 3a by 2 now let's substitute this so for s i write 3a by 2 again s is 3a by 2 minus a s is 3a by 2 minus a again s 3a by 2 c is also a so i get 3a minus a 3a by 2 minus a 3a by 2 minus a 3a by 2 minus a so all i need to do is solve this expression so 3a by 2 minus a this is equal to if i take lcm 2 then i get 3a minus 2a so this turns out to be a by 2 so i can further simplify it as this so 3a by 2 minus a is a by 2 again a by 2 again a by 2 so i get 3a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 that's in product so now what do i do again i say 2 a by 2s so i can take this out so what i can do is i can take a by 2 outside what i'm left with under the root is 3 a by 2 and a by 2 so 3a by 2 can be written as 3 times a by 2 and there's another a by 2 again 2a by 2s so i can take one of them out so i get a by 2 into a by 2 and i'm left with under root 3 so i get this now area of an equilateral triangle would be a by 2 into a by 2 root 3 which is a square by 4 root 3 so this is the nice form so if you have an equilateral triangle you did not apply a Heron's formula you can directly apply the formula under root 3 by 4 into a square so this is the area of an equilateral triangle so now let's say you have this equilateral garden which is has a side of 12 now you need to find the grass that you need to put inside this and also the fence that you have to put around it so to find the fence which you need to put around it you need to find the perimeter so perimeter is given by a plus b plus c which is since it's an equilateral triangle with side 12 it would be 3 times 12 which is 36 centimeter 36 meters now the fence has to be put all over around it except this 3 meter so in case this there's a gate here and you did not put a fence here so you will subtract 3 meters from here so fence required would be 36 minus these 3 meters so that would be 33 meters so this is the fence that you need now let's find the area since it's an equilateral triangle area we've just seen is given by a formula under root 3 by 4 into a square so i get under root 3 by 4 
a here is 12 side 12 into 12 into 12 so 4 in 12 3 4 threes are 12 so I get 12 into 3 is 36 36 root 3 meters square so this is the area and this is the perimeter or the fence perimeter is 36 but for fence you need to subtract an extra 3 so this is the fence that is needed whereas this is the grass that you would need to cover the park.